But also, I, I think that um, tennis is the most mathematically interesting scoring system of any game ever. I thought you might. Okay, sure, there's all the stuff about the points not being linear and being derived from a medieval clock and, you know, love actually being French for egg, etc. But that's not the thing that's interesting. You have to think about what you want right, from, from a good competitive sport. You want something where the pendulum of power and pressure swings regularly from one opponent to the other. And in tennis, regardless of whatever silly names they happen to give their points, there are only really four points in a game, which means you're a maximum of a couple of points away at any moment from the pendulum of power swinging from one direction to the other. Beautiful, beautiful dynamics. But the really interesting thing in tennis comes from the massive advantage that you have when it's your serve, assuming you're sort of competent and capable of doing so, and don't just double for every single time, which is what happens when I play tennis. Because it's such a massive advantage for you having the serve, the scoring system has to account for that, right? Which is why you always have to win by two, by two points, by two games, or by two sets in order to be victorious. And that then means that you only need to be a little bit better than your opponent in order for the chance of you winning to be greatly amplified by the hierarchy of the games. Even small differences between two opponents are amplified as you go through the match. So all you have to be is like 1% better at returning shots than your opponent and you are more likely to win a game, much, much more likely to win a set and way more likely to win the match. They say, actually, that you only need to be 3% better than your opponent to just wipe the floor with them. And I think this is best illustrated by Roger Federer, right? One of the greatest players of all time. He won 80% of his matches as a professional, but only 52% of points. And it was only the kind of cumulative total, the sort of hierarchical nature of the game that made him so dominant. Just, just think that's not interesting. The mindset towards failure and the resilience to losing that you have to have in this game is I think unlike any other.